There aren't any digital copies, or if there are, I'm not clever. All right, here we go. The architect is an LS base, so I thought Frank could tail him, take a hard copy. Sounds complicated. You sure you need these plans? Yeah, I do. If I'm gonna find a way to bypass a couple of hundred million dollars worth of government security. Millions? They blew that much. Government contracts. Yes. Like oh, that was close. Excuse me. Government contracts. License to steal. Wow. We are in the wrong business. No, we've just taken the wrong contracts. Yeah. Ah, he's already here. Hey, what's the problem, dawg? Steve fucking Haynes. Of course it's Steve fucking Haynes. It's always Steve Haynes. That is not strictly true. It's either Steve Haynes or it's Trevor or it's his family. It's always one of them. Yeah, that's true. It is always one of them. Well, fat old fuck with a horrible family and even worse friends. I told you, Franklin, I ain't a good role model. Period. Yeah, whatever, dawg. It's either this or dealing dime bags. The bullets come cracking at your ass either way. Thanks. We need to find out something about this FIB building, a weakness or a way in. Next time I meet a morally destitute, totally delusional, highly corrupt government agent. I hope he's a nice one. Man, I'm not going in that motherfucker by myself. No, 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 no. Nobody is going in. We need to do some recon. We need a little more information. She. I need the architectural plans, but they're not online anywhere, so I'm going to need paper copies. Now, the architect's name is Chip Peterson. This was his first big commission, and the office is down in Backlot City. All right. Franklin, you go tell him for a little while, and then we'll talk. All right, dog, I got you. Try not to hurt yourself. Oh, good, good, good. Set some fat fucking old jackass on me, please! Big man! Oof! We had a deal! We had paperwork! Hey! Well, fuck off, Johnny! Hey, you're a couple real badasses! Put a beat down on an old man! Yeah, we don't take that! We have a deal hey. with them! Just about. Please, get those millennial ass wipes! With pleasure. You fuck what? Hey! Here's an old man who might hit fat! This is terrible. He forgot which way he was going to go. Oh, I got two more. Oh my gosh. Nice. I thought you were a tough guy. I'm only a paraplegic, but you can't feel anything. Ah, uh, yeah, you're throwing me softballs. Run, run. But uh, speaking of accidents, those guys. Had one. Oh, if only we'd met 20 years ago, Michael. Maybe I wouldn't be in this mess. Yeah, you and me both, brother. Look, it's a pain, I know. But could oh, you come to the studio now? I got something I'd like to show you. Oh, wow. I actually got a choice. Yeah, of course. I'll be right over.
Sorry. Whoa. I got beginners. <laughs> Come in. Come in. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, it turns out maybe I'm cut out for the movie business after all, huh? My friend, you're a sentimental thug with zero artistic training and nothing interesting to say. I would say you're overqualified. <laughs> anyway, shut up and take a look at that. Oh my god. Oh. Oh. Fucking A. Feels good, doesn't it? Feels like I've finally done something with my life. Actually done something. A movie. Welcome to show business. Nothing but make-believe will ever feel quite real again. <laughs> All right, Michael, come on. Let me show you some rushes. I think you're gonna love it, but it'd be great to hear your notes. Hey, baby. I just wanted to tell you, I'm finally doing something with my life. I'm making a movie. A real one. Call me. Speaking of that... Hold on. This is Amanda. Unfortunately, I can't come to the phone right now. Namaste. Right. Hey, stupid! You can't be on here without a hat! Yeah, thanks a lot. <laughs> Just throws me a hat. Architect on site. <clears throat> I love how I just know how to activate this too. Oh look, it's the great RT. Study him and study him hard. I was gonna wipe my ass on him. That's the engineer's plan. Mine you treat like a religious text, remember? Yeah, that's it. It's kind of weird that, I mean, no one really questions why I don't have an orange vest on. Yet again, I guess it really doesn't matter. Come on. Knock this bitch out. I can do it. That was so bloody easy. Wait, am I still in stealth mode? No, I'm not. Everything's good to go. Everything is normal. All right. Wow. Okay. This is just some prop. It's not even real. Ah, it's crack. Hey. You got him? Of course I do, homie. Here. Thank you. So, all good? Sure, homie. So is this shit for real? We just gonna rob the FIB and be allowed to walk by your boys like that? Yeah, I don't fucking know. Probably not. Hey, right, Lester, what do you got? Uh, I don't quite know yet. Give me a minute. I'm not a fucking computer. <laughs> yeah, you are. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh maybe I am. Oh. <laughs> Here's what I think. We have two options. The new security software goes into containment mode in case of emergency, you know, uh, earthquakes, mudslides, acts of God. So we could plant some firebombs. They go bang, the emergency call goes out. We hijack it, show up as firemen, and then we grab the containment drive. Or we could hack the system on site. We'll go in by, uh, by air. Uh, hope we don't run into too much physical resistance. 
Sounds relaxing. Either bombing our office ran by a division of corrupt government psychos or defeating one of the world's most complex security systems using our worthless ass ninja skills, huh? Yeah. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Eeny, miny, meeny, miny, moo, moo. If you favor the firebomb containment drive option, you'll go in with that janitor's ID you picked up. It'll be at night when most of the workers are off. You mop the place and plant the bombs where we need them. Seriously? I got a mop? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you really do. They'll clock you on the cameras if you're play acting. You also need a fire truck to show up in when the bombs go off, and a getaway car stashed in a quiet place near the bureau so you can torch the truck and then get out. The car doesn't have to be anything special, there shouldn't be any heat. Well, what about the other way? With the, uh, ninja skills? Now you choose that route, you won't be using the janitor's gear, but we had to cover all the bases. Your FIB paymasters will have to provide you with a chopper and a pilot. Now you fly way up above the building, parachute in, and gain access to the roof here. Oh my. Now you'll need to be armed to the teeth, mind you, just in case the uh, shit goes down. Mopping or parachuting? Wow, you're making this choice really difficult. <laughs> now Haynes has given us the leftover money from the Polito job to pull this mission, and the crew will be paid out of that. We keep the change. So, what's it gonna be? Well, wait, what? <sighs> Uh, I'll probably be doing either, like both of them regardless. But I guess that. <laughs> so you do want to mop? Yeah, okay. I know. Well, you'll need a couple of gunmen. They'll go in with you as firemen. Everything goes to plan. They won't fire a single bullet, but you will be running into a burning high rise with them. So consider that. Ah, my lucky charm from the jewelry store. And the same guy. Or same uh, thing here. Wait, what? They all suck to the teeth of donkey butt. Okay, no, because he's black. <laughs> ah, Norm. Came across as a, a bit of an idiot, but could be useful. Okay, that all look good to you? You are robbing the FIB here. <laughs> Well, you know what? No, no. Can't have a black on the team. Where do you have? <laughs> well, should be okay. He's got a few scores left in him. Let's do it. And we have a winner. I'll make the arrangements and call you when we're ready. All right, see it, hit. You know, um, I'm still looking into that Union Depository gig. That's real interesting. But I don't know if we can do it without you know who. Uh, well, as long as he can't do it without us. Okay. <sighs> All right then. Fuck. I uh, I'm all. A getaway vehicle is required for this. Yeah. Okay. I am apparently. Uh, actually, I'll check right now. 57, so 10 or, well, around 10-ish or so mission. I, I know, it's like 13 or so missions left. Oh! Oh my. Hey. What? But. <clears throat> oh. Hey. I'm sorry I spiked you, okay? I just, I get so mad and I can't control things. And then, you know, shit just falls on top of me. My life sucks right now. And I don't know what to do except I want to say I love you and hug it out. But all that wimpy shit is just. Well, I'd say gay, but I have some friends who are gay. So that's not cool anymore. And the ones that I don't really like, it's not because they're gay. So. 
lame, all right? You are just a lame <laughs> and angry psycho sometimes. You do bad shit and things. I don't know if I love you, and I'm pretty sure I hate you a little bit, but I'm just so fucking upset that we can't even see each other. And you're just a drunk, lame dad. You know what? That might just be the nicest thing anybody's ever said to me. So will you buy me a car? What? I mean, not in this so will you buy me a car kind of way, in a completely off topic, can you buy me a car? I mean, firstly, I'm a, a fat shit that you ruined. And, and secondly, I will get a job and I will stop smoking pot in that sort of way, okay? I love you too, son. Now, go. Get a job, because I don't have the money to buy you a car. Besides which way, I'm probably going to be dead in a couple weeks anyway. Please don't die, okay? Yeah, it's great catching up with you too, Dad. Yeah. Hey, uh, how's your mother? Oh, she's great. <sighs> no, she's not. She's bored. I mean, all this mesmerizing, tantric sex she's been having with a much younger, better-built, caring and compassionate man is great and all, but what's she gonna do for the other six hours of the day? What the fuck? I I'm just winding you up, you miserable bastard. She's mad at you. She's scared that you're gonna die, and she wants you to go over there and prove that you give a fuck. All right, all right, all right! I can take a fucking hint. Let's go. We'll get Tracy on the way. Tracy, on the other hand, she's a star. Sort of. <sighs> okay. Mom said she was at Bean Machine. <clears throat> Ow! <laughs> I'm still doing that, dude. <laughs> no, no, no! Yes! <laughs> oh my god, this is fun. Come on! There you go! <laughs> oh, come on! So, oh my god. So, what's been happening? You know, I don't know, stuff? No, I don't know. Well, what's been happening with you? No, there they short are. conversation. Fabian too. Oh, what a treat. Caffeine. Come on. Your curling has been sluggish for weeks. A little bit less lifestyle. Uh, excuse me. I'm trying to write a screen. Shush, here. woman. Hey, Amanda. Oh. Fabian. Michael. Hi, Mom. Hi, Jimmy. These two. A picture of holistic well-being, I don't think. Hey. Maybe they shit once a year between them. Hey, oh! That's my son! Amanda, come. I have a new unit card on hold. You must pay for it. Hey! Hey! Buddy, I'm gonna ask politely that you show my wife a little respect. Red meat has been blocking your chi as well as your digestive tract. I ain't even gonna go there. I'm gonna ask you one time, nicely. Michael, just... Hit him, please. Really? Shush, woman! Anything for you, sweetheart. What? what are you oh! I had some really good work there, you dick! There's a lot more where that came from, Holmes. <laughs> Is he alive? <laughs> yeah, he's fine. Listen, Amanda. I wanted. I'm meaning to say to you. I just. What he's trying to say, Mom, is that he's a pathetic, old, drunken mess, and he needs you. And you could do a lot better than a prima donna yoga instructor with an anal fixation. Someone say Shut up! Jesus. I guess we could try. All I'm asking for is a shot. Neutral ground. Dr. Friedlander's office. It's perfect. All of us. I'll pick up Tracy and bring her there. Meet you? Fine. All right, you. Come on, get up, you idiot. Oh. Yoga? No, no <laughs> yoga. Oh. All right, you know where your sister is, right? Yeah. Let's go. Wait, 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 but what about that sugar, caffeine, and emulsified pig fat flavored